Hi, it's Jay Vandekoppel here looking at the use of four tubes for tuning wolf suppressors on the after length. Um, the I, whole idea is that if the loudness output of a instrument is has a peak that's too high, the loudness output is a whole bunch of peaks and low spots, and if you have one that's too high, what we want to do is we want to tune something on the bass that will vibrate at that frequency but not generate sound. So we're trying to basically create a damper for that one frequency, not affect other frequencies. So these after, after length thing, uh, wool suppressors, what we're looking at doing is the distance between the bridge and the saddle, we, we're not looking at the frequency of the, of the strings here and here, we're looking at this thing vibrating as a unit. You know, the whole thing vibrating up and down as, as a unit, and we want to get the, the pitch of, of that. And on this bass, uh, this is the A string, the wolf has run the octave, so the, I want to create something at that frequency. Now, I put this on, and if I put it right in the middle, it'll be the lowest frequency it can be. If I move it this way, it'll be a little higher frequency. If I move it closer to the bridge, it'll be a little higher frequency. The whole point is I don't want to get to the point where I'm right at the bridge because that'll clearly mute things. So what I'm looking for is um, something that um, I, I, try, I usually try to start with a low mass, and then uh, as long as it's below the frequency, the wolf, I can slide it either direction and, and move it up. Now, to test that, what I've got is a little, a little dish of water. I just put a little bit of water on my fingers, not very much, pretty much like you do in a wine glass. And I put one end right on the wool suppressor, and the frequency just pops out. When I try to pluck on it this way, it's really hard to hear that pitch, but use of the wool suppressor, using the, the four tube, putting it right on the wool suppressor, and as you hear, that's right around the octave. If I were right in the center, I so were right around in the center here, and I'm using a Lupex, it's, it's fairly easy to move, other brands are just perfectly fine. Here, when I was right in the center, that's about the lowest frequency it's going to be, and as I said, as I move it either direction, um, it will be higher pitch. So what I did with this one, since the wolf is around an A, I moved this closer to the tailpiece because I want, didn't want to mute the bridge. Now I'm a little sharp of the A, octave A. Again, I'm not, I'm not octaves above the wolf. I'm actually at the same frequency of the wolf, which was the octave A. So we don't want to have multiple octaves above. We don't want to have octave below. We want to at that frequency. Okay, so that's how these work. If this one were, uh, with this light mass, if this were um, too high a frequency, I would need to go to a bigger mass uh, wolf suppressor in order to get get progress. Okay, hope that helps.